What's up, my name is Chris Melberger and this is my most embarrassing story. This takes place back uh, a few years ago when I was a young lad, 19 years old, and I was hanging out with my boys. We were sitting on the couch, chilling, watching Planet Earth, and um, it was my turn to hit the gravity bong, as you do. So I remember um, lighting it up. It was a Coca-Cola bottle cut in half and um, filled with water, ping pong ball in the center just for fun. And I remember the smoke being so solid, you can cut it in half with a knife. And before I hit it, I went, see you guys later. <sighs> Blew it out. And then um, I was like, oh, that was pretty cool. And then everyone was like, oh, we're doing another one. And I was like, oh, we're doing another one. Great. So I did part two, same situation. I hit it, right? I actually said either good game or like got a blast or some shit. And then, uh, I hit it and then I sat back down on the couch with my, my, my two other friends and we're just sitting there watching Planet Earth. It's like the octopus one where the little guy like runs across the, the ground. And um, at one point I just kind of go, like, I don't, know if, I don't know if I was out loud or in my brain, but I go, oh shit. And I look around and my two friends are just looking at me. I'm like, yo, what's up guys? And everyone's like, dude, what? I'm like, yo, do you guys, do you guys feel this? And I was so confused because I was like outside of my body and the last text I remember sending was to some girl that I was probably talking to, sorry Shan. And it said something along the lines of, I don't feel like I'm on the, this planet. I feel like I'm on a different planet or some shit. And so, and so I start doing laps around my friend's house and uh, my throat is closing in. Um, I have tunnel vision, I can't breathe. I'm taking my shirt off, like not crying, but like I feel like I'm dying. And I, I'm drinking water to like open up my throat, but it's just like not working. And I'm like, yo, uh, can one of you guys call 911? Um, I'm pretty sure I'm dying and that would just be really great. And they were like, dude, you're just bugging out, relax. I'm like, no, 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 I'm fucking dying. You're gonna need to call 911 because uh, I'm gonna like die and that like sucks because like I'm only 19. And so I'm arguing with my friends for probably like what feels like five hours to call 911 because I'm dying. And they're like, dude, you're just really high. Like don't call, we're not doing it. Um, so my one friend ends up leaving because he just couldn't deal with it. He was like, this is too weird. So he leaves. And I remember, I'll never forget this moment. My shirt's off, he, he, he's like running outside to his car and I open the door and I'm like, Jake, Jake, did you call? And he, he, just, he just leaves, so he doesn't call. So it's just me and my friend John left and um, we are watching, we're not watching, we're, I'm, I'm feuding with him. I have a glass uh, Snapple bottle in my hand. I'm like, I'm gonna break your dad's fucking HD TV if you don't call the cops. And I'm almost crying at this point. I'm like, I'm dying, dude. Like I'm actually dying. Dude, please just call the cops. And he goes, fine, dude, just take the phone. Because they actually, they actually hid the phone from me. So I grab the phone, I call, I'll dial 911, and they go, 911, what is your emergency? And I go, hi, um, I smoked two cigarettes, and I think I'm dying. And they're like, excuse me, sir? I'm like, yes, just please send help. And then I hang up, because I, I knew if I, I recorded that I was smoking marijuana, I'd have been in trouble, so I said it's two cigarettes. They send, the, they send the units over, they get two cop cars there, an ambulance, the one ambulance breaks down my friend's driveway, so they send a second one. So there's two ambulances, two cop cars, and then like a third squad car, because nothing ever happens in my stupid white town. And I get to the hospital, in the emergency room, I, I remember my nurse was pregnant, and she was like, you're gonna be fine. They took my blood, and they were like, um, yeah, you just have a lot of, uh, you had a really high amount of THC. I was like, oh shit, so I'm like sitting there like, still kind of dying, but then they um, inject me with liquid Xanax. So then I'm just like really chilling and I'm like, okay, I'm probably not dying now. And my dad walks in and goes, what the fuck did you do? And I was like, uh, you know, did that. But um, here's the funniest part about this whole story and I'm not lying, there's a picture of it. <laughs> I'm sitting there like in an emergency room because I smoked too much weed and I was wearing a dare shirt. And that's it, that's my story. Called the cops myself, went to the emergency room and it was a $7,000 ambulance ride. But my insurance covered it all.